Okay, in the information phase, as I said, I need to have the bill of materials. For the bill of materials, this is a picture that is taken from a reference here. This is the tear down of Apple mobile. This is tear down of a product. Okay. Also, in drawing, it is known as exploded view. So, what we can see different components of the Apple mobile here. You can see we have loudspeaker and receiver here. This is the top and this is the main body of the mobile. Okay. This is the outer cover of the mobile, Apple mobile. This is the battery. This battery is there and battery certain uh, volume ring up and down different components you can see here camera, secondary camera, module PCB, ambient light sensor, microphone, then primary camera module, main PCB, okay, main PT circuit board that has all the, you know, components of the processor, all those things, camera and flash, SIM card tray, here the SIM card is put, then loudspeaker assembly, okay, this loudspeaker assembly is there, then main enclosure, all these components you can see. Then touch screen module display is there, display is the, just uh, the front portion here. So, all these components are there. Now, this is actually the component viewpoint. Now, we can have the function viewpoint as well. Function viewpoint is the volume button, volume up and down button is control volume. Okay primary camera, take, snap, okay. main PCB. If we look at the mobile or the cellular phone, we just see the front and the back cover. We cannot see where is this printed circuit board. Okay. This is actually not the Apple mobile, but a similar kind of uh, components would, would be here. We can just see the front and the back, we cannot see the integrated circuits here, we cannot see the camera, we cannot see this uh, uh, loudspeaker assembly here, okay. we cannot see this uh, audio jack, then engine assembly, we cannot see the battery, but these are all required. So, the work function and the cell function, cell function is its color, golden color, its body, elegant look all those things, these are cell functions. Okay. Work function is this is required, this printed circuit board is required, main PCB is required for which the function is to provide processing, okay. processing. the camera flash, uh, camera flash or power button, camera flash is provide light. You might be wondering why I am writing only two words here, control volume, take snap, provide processing, provide light, loudspeaker assembly is uh, uh, provide sound. Okay. So, why I am writing two words, I will just come to the function phase and explain why these two words are very crispy and critical for the function phase. So, this is the tear down the information phase, we can just see the different components here, we can tear down the whole product into components and see various components and in the function phase, we will try to identify the functions. So, next comes the major pillar in value engineering job plan and we are talking about value engineering green plan, the function phase. In function phase, we try to identify the specific purposes or intended use of an item. So, we ask certain questions. What is the product 
the answer could be it is a pen, it is a chair, it is a table, it is a mobile phone, it is a duster, it is a mobile cover. Okay. What is it supposed to do? For chair and table we can provide support, for pen we can say it, it helps to make marks, for mobile it helps to make calls, for duster it helps to clean or wipe off the dust. So, this is what they do. What else can it do can be the next question. Can it do? Now, duster as I took the example of duster, duster is once just to wipe off the marks. If I will talk about the blackboard duster, the chalk duster that we have to remove the chalk from the blackboard. So, it removes the marks from the blackboard. This is the basic function. What else can it do? Can I use duster as a paperweight? So, what is the other component? Duster, the only the front portion of the duster that is having a cloth on it, okay, or a spongy material on it that is used to wipe off the dust, is the is a complexion of primary function. Then why do have why do we have this big size duster? Because we need to hold that. So what else is the secondary functions? We need to hold the duster as well. We need to duster should also have some weight. Okay. What if uh, to hold that it has to have some weight? It has the material has to be such that the normal force that applies. If I hold the duster, for instance, this is the duster. Consider this as a duster. If I hold this, what is the normal force or the average force that my hand apply? It has it has to be bear that force. Can I make this back of a paper, of a, this 50 gsm paper? Can I make out of this? No it would not hold. Can I make of this of a cardboard? Yes, that is possible. So, what else can it do? So, these are the questions those are asked to identify the function of the product. So, when I talk about the green, can I have something different if the dust is made of plastic? Can I have some different material? Can I have a cardboard that is compostable, that is biodegradable because plastic is not biodegradable? Those things would come in creativity phase and in evaluation phase. In function phase, we are just identifying the functions. We are not thinking about something anything else. So, when we will talk about the evaluation, we will have criteria based upon the three areas that we discussed energy, material and pollution. And in creativity phase, we will come up with the ideas, what are different ways to attain or fulfill the or make this product uh, using some better or eco-friendly measures. So, these are the questions those are asked in function phase. So, function is that which make a product or process or project to work or sell. Okay. It is something that makes it work or sell. So, all the cost is for the function, not for the product. This is the basic idea on which value engineering is uh, worked upon. Customers are paying for the function. Customers are paying for, uh, if I am going to uh, buy this jacket, it is a black color jacket. I am, I have given the money for the black color also. Because suppose if I wanted to just purchase black color jacket only, if I, if I did not have that in the market. However, whatever the goods, the stuff is or the material is, the company is, esteem, whatever the needs are there, I would not buy because my need is black color. This is making it sell. Okay. What is making it work? These buttons, because jacket has to be closed. Okay. These buttons, this size, specific my size, that has to be there. Okay. Work or sell functions. So, now determine by considering user actual needs. Determine by considering the user's actual needs. So, uh, these functions can be divided into two major forms that is primary functions and secondary functions. Primary functions are those values which are required to make a product work or sell as I said the original intent or the purpose for which a product or process is made. So, this is the original intent for which the product 
प्रोसेस सर्विस और सर्विस इज मेड और प्रोक्योर्ड इफ सर्विस इज देयर वी नीड टू हैव द परफॉर्मेंस फॉर दैट और परफॉर्म ओके सो दीज फंक्शंस एज ए सेट कुड बी वर्क और सेल सेकेंडरी फंक्शंस आर दोज विच हैव नो और वेरी लिटिल वैल्यू बट आर जस्ट ड्यू टू द करंट डिजाइन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट सेकेंडरी फंक्शंस कैन बी दी सेल फंक्शन समटाइम्स और दिस कैन बी ड्यू टू the current design okay the functions are mentioned in two words as i did in this last slide two words abridgement is uh, suggested by miles only the shorter the sentence is the more clear it is this is the general set the shorter the sentence is the more clear it is two words can define the whole product if i say okay i need to have a product that is uh, for using that i can make a call and uh, receive call then i can um, uh, also put write type an sms using uh, alphabets uh, or the letters those are provided there and uh, you know big sentence is coming up we can just say make connections okay make connections or uh, connect people because making calls receiving all this connecting connect people two words are there so there are two words here two words i am saying make connection i can select between the two or connect people i believe better is the option connect people or connect friends whatever you call okay the two words these two words should be a verb and a noun verb plus noun in this case if you see this make is a verb connection is a noun this connect is a verb here people is a noun so this is the basic function of a mobile phone of a cellular phone okay but these functions can also be attained using a landline phone messages can also be made using emails the secondary function which is the basic function that has to be done the secondary functions would define the further needs we need to make connections while we are on move when we are uh, mobile mobile means mobility is there we are moving because the, there is a wireless connection always okay so this verb plus noun makes it a very crispy statement this is actually two word statement only the complete statement is there in two words so this verb plus noun so suggested by experts this verb has to be an active and noun has to be measurable and a measurable noun for instance uh, other functions i can put some other functions here such as uh, let me say generate electricity generate is an active verb electricity is a measurable noun gen uh, for instance uh, if i am going to purchase kanpur uh, we have amman factories here we wake man can buy a pistol so the basic function of pistol is shoot bullets so what if one right kill people kill animals shoot bullets is the basic function so uh, because here shoot is an active verb bullets is measurable noun so then uh, if there is say, some sensor 
that is uh, just looking at uh, some proximity sensor is there, the function can be detect movement. So, these kinds of two words embridgement, this, ha this helps in making, I will write it down, having a crispy information or definition or identification of the product process or service. Okay. So, defining it in a two words, a verb and a noun is known as two words abridgment. This is two words abridgment. So, the advantages of two words abridgment I have mentioned that can be it focuses on function rather than on item, it encourages creativity, it frees the mind for specific configurations. Okay. So, so, I have picked uh, this picture from a reference here, just to see okay, this is a chair, different components of the chair of the different parts of the chair had different functions those are to be accomplished. So, we have a headrest here, a headrest at the back this is an exact chair, we have an we have arm pads here arms to support the arms or support the elbow, we have chair cylinder that support the chair, Okay, I will keep writing here, headrest is the, the function that this has to do is, this is a blue color, I will pick something else here, uh, red, this is to support head, Okay, then this has to, arm pad has to support arms okay then these arms which are the on which the arm pads are there these are again to support arms i'm talking about the human arm this is the arm this arm that is there on white color this is the arm of the chair in red color what i am writing this is the human arm okay then a chair cylinder chair cylinder has to support body human body Okay, support body, then uh, uh, this uh, casters can help to rotate, rotate body, okay, then uh, this, uh, this is chair mechanism, chair mechanism can help to elevate, elevate the body, seat pad can provide comfort. You know the seat pad is there, seat pad uh, can uh, the basic function of seat pad is to support body only, but because it is pad, it is a, it has a cushion here, the secondary function can be provide comfort. I will write the basic function as support body, then lumbar support system, then this has to support body because support body can be further divided to support head, arms and all those things. This has to support back. So, cylinder cover is there, this is function could be provide covering, chair base, chair base can again have the similar support body footering, can uh, rotate body, uh, translate body, okay. translate body. So, the basic functions can be one is support, if you see here one function is repeated no number of times, support back is again part of support body, support body is the here, okay. number one support body is here as well, okay. 
rotate body support body so support body becomes the primary function of this executive chair whether it is an, it is an executive chair of maybe uh, of uh, maybe 50000 rupees or it is a chair of rupees 500 the basic function is to support body now provide comfort can be something that has an associated cost additional cost on it then chair mechanism that is here elevate the body all those things this can have different so these are secondary functions okay for an executive chair these are necessary but secondary functions rotate body and elevate body so the functions uh, can be divided into three major categories two or three major categories suppose so one thing is uh, support body in which support head support arms these can be part of that number one is support body second uh, can be uh, okay provide or uh, specify the postures specify posture because this rotation lumbar support system okay this ro uh, rotation of the body elevation of the body these are all posture this is posture this is posture this is posture okay so these specify the posture so what is the other major function specific posture uh, that back posture back support all those are part of it then other than posture we can also have positions posture is one thing position is something else so we can have specify positions you know because we have casters here at the chair base posture is like i am sitting like in a comfort way or i am rotating like this this is my posture position is i can change my position of the chair as well for instance i am working on my office i am have just in my laptop and this side i can change my position to work on the laptop i can just take or slide my chair using this casters also okay move my chairs so these are now i think you can uh, uh, identify or you are very much conversant with how do we look at the product from function viewpoint now uh, we'll see not this specific chair we'll take a case study on a foot operated pump where we'll see we'll when we identify the function we'll rank the functions as well okay first we'll see what are the primary functions for that there are certain ways so before that uh, because we are talking about the chair so you know this is a bad posture this is a good posture so in bad posture what is there so this is what we need to work you know this is a chair that is there this is also one of the chairs so in this case here we have a forward head cervical spine okay now we are talking about the ergonomical design we have designed a chair but we need to consider ergonomics here then we have uh, elongative or inactive upper muscles elongated and inactive upper muscles then here we have reduced hip flexion then uh, again uh, elongated and weak uh, glutes here hamstrings are also shortened we have shortened hamstrings here okay so these things can be considered while designing a chair now let us come to the green characteristics this cushion material material can be compostable this material in place of plastic we can have biodegradable
if not biodegradable recycled plastic or biodegradable material okay so other things also we can have this manufacture this chair in different uh, functions in modules okay we'll talk about the modularity or uh, design for modularity if we design anything in modules in place of replacing the whole product we can just get the module or the specific component repaired and then uh, get the product fresh for instance if you have a motorbike and you if your spark plug uh, goes bad you just get the spark plug replaced because that is something that can be dismantled and can be replaced in a similar way we can think of the products this is known as miniaturization when we'll talk about the green manufacturing technologies miniaturization is, is one of those that we'll discuss to divide design uh, the product in a way that different modules are there so that uh, the single product can be used in different ways and the maintenance is also easy so those aspects can be considered here so i'll uh, come with an examples uh, of the chair that is uh, there is a uh, i don't remember the specific name of the body the people who have uh, who did research on the trees and they have just shaped the trees in the way that uh, it is directly uh, ready to sit they are shaped in the form of chair only they have they spent 41 years in this research and uh, i think there is one couple in us i'll come up with this example when i come with the case studies the people who have uh, really did uh, uh, remarkable or uh, breakthrough research in uh, green manufacturing next is function analysis system technique which is also known as fast diagram function analysis system techniques aids in thinking about the problem objectively the organization of the functions into a function logic and the fast diagram can be used to verify it and illustrate how a proposed solution achieves the needs of the project what is there we have different functions for instance uh, if we identify all the functions we haven't we should be sure that we haven't missed any function for, for chair i haven't defined all the functions there are certain functions for instance nuts and bolts are there the rivets are there the small components which are large in number but the specific functions they are provide joining they are provide fitment then uh, secure the movement all those functions all these functions need to be identified then we can put the functions in an organized way and we can find a critical path through which the product can be accomplished that i'll just discuss the fast diagramming technique i'll just give an overview of what is fast diagram in this lecture in the next lecture i'll try to come up with a fast diagram of a pen okay of a pen that is uh, first first is general pen then we'll, uh, we'll talk about the multi objective pen okay so fast diagram what it has we have how and why this is the higher order function this is the lower order function this is the highest order function here and this is the lowest order function okay the highest order function and the lowest order function we have here in this direction from left to right we have how we have how do we accomplish the higher order function i can come with an example here highest order function can be pro support body in for instance this can be support body how do we support the body we need to provide uh, uh, actually haven't put those functions here we need to provide provide uh, i cannot uh, just provide support or uh, okay provide support i can put provide support can be done by the leg or the back okay then how do we provide the support we need to provide fitment how do we provide the fitment we need to secure movement so 
the point i'm trying to make here is that to provide support to the body i need to to support the body right to provide support at the base the lag that i had okay this is provide support to provide this support i need to provide fitment this has to be fit with the base base uh, uh, what do you call base uh, that was called foot ring or chair base it has to be fit with the chair base and the body support where the cushion was there so this fitment has to be there how do we provide the fitment we secure this movement secure the movement because this the cushion if we do not fix the cushion the cushion can move if we do not fix this leg this is leg of my chair if do not I do not fix this can also move i have to fix it here i have to secure this movement this movement secure securing can be done you are using nuts and bolts rivets might might be might be there there are some uh, threads which are cut on this this is fixed like this okay this is secure movement this is how i am supporting body how i am providing fitment how i am securing the movement then why i am securing the movement because i need to provide fitment why i am providing fitment because i need to provide support why i am providing support because i need to support body so on finally we have the lowest order function okay the lowest order function uh, here uh, maybe uh, support arms i am just considering this is not the final support arms or uh, support legs etc etc okay i have just dividing into the support head okay i am just dividing into certain components here so this is the criteria to develop a fast diagram so this is the between these two lines the highest order function lowest order function we have the scope of the study this is the scope of the study here so this is the upper scope and this is the lower scope how and why are explained very well here now why do you how do you is also explained this specific line can be the critical part like these are the functions which are very much needed to be accomplished okay which are necessary functions primary function is support body this highest order function is actually the primary function okay the basic function of the product so this is an example of a chair that i am taking here or an executive chair better to put now here we have a vertical line when when do we do this sometimes to secure movement for instance to secure movement i need to provide a nut and bolt there are nuts which or the screws are there that need to fix my leg with my base okay base fitment so for that to secure movement i need to provide holes for instance so when to provide holes when there is secure movement i will say provide holes okay sometimes these functions which are the when logic like they are stacked on each other and the last function or the few functions which are not very necessary can be eliminated some functions do not come do not fit in the whole scenario those can be put here for instance uh, okay uh, the chair is manufactured by a company which need to provide its company's mark here as well for that provide identification provide identification for instance the chair manufacturing company is dipu philip amandeep singh dpas so dpas has to be put here so provide identification i made the box first i'll first write this is the function that doesn't fit here so these are the functions which are not part of the basic function diagram or basic the function network here i'd rather say but those are separate but those are sometimes necessary sometimes if they are not necessary they can be eliminated so this is the way we define value engineering 
fast diagram. Now, the steps to develop or build a fast diagram is determine the highest order function is the very first step. Then identify the basic functions, basic functions of each component or each body. Like I said, the basic function of the back support is to support body, to support head is the basic function of the head support. Then keep expanding the fast diagram like this well logic. Keep expanding in this direction, in this direction and from left to right because we have first identified the highest order function. So, this is the wave value fast diagram propagation. So, this is the I would say building the fast diagram from left to right, from center to top and from center to bottom whenever required left to right is the major movement ok this is whenever required center to bottom and center to top. Then identifying the supporting functions which are there in the well logic like when then verify the fast diagram verify the fast diagram means we see that whether there is some other way to make the fast diagram actually there is no specific way to make the fast diagram. If I am working with my team members two or three persons are there, we can develop the fast diagram for the same product in a little different manner than another team can do. So, there is no specific or uh, the you know so hard and fast rule that this is the right fast diagram. So, best way is to write the name of the functions on the slips paper slips ok and keep making the arrangements this is the organized way in this that way we will have a critical path. Now, to verify the fast diagram we can use the paired comparison analysis that is ranking of the functions. In ranking of the functions the function those are ranked higher should be on the left side ok. This fast diagram actually the highest order function is the highest ranked function and lowest order function is the lowest ranked function in between the rank should be accordingly as we have in the fast diagram. If it does not come like that, then we can consider to rework on our fast diagram. Now, paired comparison, what is this paired comparison method? Paired comparison analysis is a technique that is uh, around uh, one and a half centuries uh, old technique, which is used to pair or compare a few items. Uh, this method was used by some courts or judges to resolve the civil issues, like the jury is there the jury can have different opinions so that was used. Now, this is used in engineering as well in management. The fact really uh, is of interest. So, perhaps this was the way to resolve the dispute I suppose, but in value engineering what we do there are options from A, B, C, D, E for instance these are the functions. There are different options for instance they are available. Now, option A, B, C, D, E can be evaluated with respect to each other. I can compare option A with option B here ok. Now, this is the scale, this is the scale 0 means no difference of importance, 5 means major difference of importance. Here I can have a, a little lesser difference like this is my major minor in between we can have certain 0 to 0 to 5 is a scale. For instance, option A and option B, which option is better? If I say function A or function B, if it function is better by what degree? For instance, uh, support body and provide identification. Support body is the major function, the difference from, from provide identification is very high. So, I can say in that case suppose this if A is support body, I can say A 5 the major difference of importance is there. Similarly, A can be compared with C, A is higher than some function C by 4 points, A is higher than D by 2 points, A is higher than or A is equivalent to E, there is no difference I can say. Similarly, uh, for uh, function B I can say function B S B and C if I compare if C is having this is actually importance scale of relative importance I would say.
okay if with let us say c is more important than b and uh, by only one value there uh, b is important than d by only one value and e is important than b by two values so on okay we'll check whether the diagram is or whether the paired comparison correct or not there shouldn't be no closed loop we'll check that definitely so i can just pick some values okay similarly some values finally what happens we score we calculate the total score for a the total score for a can be in this line okay the total score for a is 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0 this is 11 total score for b let me say this is uh, this is c2 this is c1 and this is d1 so total score for b here is b in this side and this side total score for b is 1 total score for c is 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 3 total score for d is 1 total score for e is 2 so we can rank it accordingly so accordingly we can say this is rank 1 this is rank 2 rank 3 rank 4 and 4 okay b and d b and d have no difference according to this calculation but here we can see that b is better than d by a minor difference so b can be put again reconsidering 1 2 3 b can be put 4 and a can be put 5 okay reworking now who works on this it is the opinion of the experts different people uh, like i said the different team members so they work on this and they they sometimes they come and sit and say okay this is the difference a can be more important than b by a major difference where five five can be put here so that is the one way they all sit together or they can make the individual charts and the total numbers can be added and then make this then this ranking can be made now whatever the ranking is made in the fast diagram also it should be ranked like this only like this is the highest order function function a is ranked one so this should be a and the lowest order function that is d is ranked five that is the lowest order function after a we have c and after that we have e and after that we have b it should go in this direction okay or maybe b and d could also come here as well we don't know whether it is supporting function or something like that so this is numerical evaluation i have one example here uh, the paired comparison analysis to identify and rank the top motivators for a team that works on developing green products actually this is not uh, made for this specific purpose that is in that putting here so it is taken from this uh, ci toolkit but the paired comparison that what is the motivation appreciation if you just appreciate to work on the project some achievement work conditions power influence creativity freedom to creativity then interest whether it is a personal interest financial benefits are there or whether you would like to bring in relationships and get a have a good network here or self-development these are the points compared between a and b these are actually rated in three scales three, three point scale three two one for major difference minor difference and this is no difference okay these are scaled put in this scale so in this case we can see a is greater than b c is, a is greater than c similarly the points are put here and these can be total to get the final rank so this is the task for you people try to see what is the rank or what is the order in which these uh, criteria for the motivation are there for this specific group that those have made this chart okay this, ta this task has not to be uh, submitted just this is for a self pace and self study. So next is creative phase. In creative phase the functions those are developed uh, uh, those are identified in the function phase are worked upon. 
we group a few functions and try to find alternatives for that. So, in creative phase, we develop the ideas for the alternative ways to perform each functions that is selected for further study. Two approaches to solving to solving a problem are analytical and creative. In analytical way of solving, we we just think of the uh, the problem is stated and uh, a direct step by step approach so solution is taken. While in creative phase, uh, we forgot about the basic facts. We said okay forget about the basic facts or uh, just come up with the ideas without considering whether we would be able to do that or not. Creativity or creative phase I will discuss in detail, I will take the uh, separate lecture for this. Different techniques are there, brainstorming, Gordon technique, checklist, morphological analysis, attribute listing. In brainstorming what we do, we use uh, creative thinking, we actually prohibit any criticism, free willing is welcomed, so one has to be spontaneous, it is actually free willing I can say. Just come up with the idea, a group sit together and they, they just come up with an idea. Gordon technique and Gordon technique is closely related to brainstorming, but the principal difference is that no one except the group leader knows the exact nature of the problem under consideration, exact problem is not uh, open, but abstract questions are asked. abstract questions by the group leader, actual problem is not disclosed. So, checklisting is just making a long list and keep checking that whatever the people like, what the people do not like and uh, what are the ways to do, what people suggest they should be the right way. So, this is the checklisting. Okay. So, morphological analysis is just uh, if I having, I uh, will discuss this in detail, we make a table and we try to compare each option, for instance, there are options 1, 2, 3, 3 options are there. We try to compare each option based upon different criteria. Okay. Attribute listing is just listing of the attributes, those are pertaining to our product or process that we are working upon. So, this is creativity phase. In creative phase, what we get? We have number of ideas, number of ideas and in evaluation phase, what we do? First, we see what ideas are feasible. Ideas which are feasible, those we bring into evaluation phase and then we try to evaluate that which idea are actually to be worked upon. So, we evaluate in evaluation phase, we select or refine the best ideas and to develop the specific value improvement recommendations. So, we eliminate the low potential ideas here, any idea that is uh, low potential or that is not feasible, those are eliminated here. So, that can be done in maybe yes, idea can be eliminated or uh, maybe okay or uh, not now like none of the ideas are just thrown away if any idea is not feasible at this point of time that might be something that is uh, might uh, implementable in the future so that is kept in record and not now approach is there so based upon these three one two three low uh, the potential ideas are grouped Grouped is the second part actually ideas grouping. So, the remaining ideas which are feasible, which are potential ideas are grouped into several like maybe three or more ideas, three or more ideas are if possible they, they might be grouped together. So, the categories and, uh, and examinations to determine whether uh, they could be modified or combined with each other, those are taken into account. Then, select appropriate idea, then idea that is a champion idea uh, in the study uh, that will serve the basic purpose that is selected, then this idea, uh, the advantage of this, of this idea may are mentioned. So, we will see this when we will see the case study of foot operated air pump that will make it more clear. So, next is the development phase, once the evaluation of idea is there, then we come to a development phase where we develop the ideas. So, in evaluation phase, 
one has to have prior experience and a stakeholder has to have all the inputs we define the performance measure weight and rank the measures i'll put it here we develop the measuring criteria okay number 2 uh, we weight or we rank the criteria then we evaluate the alternatives so this is to select the appropriate idea it is at this phase at this point when we develop the criteria criteria to select the product final final products the criteria can be cost of the product okay you put the cost at this the cost not as a very first factor uh, i'll put, put uh, the performance of the product ease of maintenance like i said the product characteristics the basic function ease of maintenance uh, then uh, operational use then um, cost these are all performance criteria in addition to that we can have the green criteria green criteria is material energy pollution or we can just pick uh, whether uh, the greenness is there or not based upon that we can conduct value engineering green plan it is in evaluation plan here we have the green criteria one is performance criteria okay this is quality criteria this is green criteria or i can even say environmental criteria this all can be done by apply by applying matrix techniques apply matrix technique in addition to this we can make sketches or uh, drawings or layouts okay because we are finally evaluating what is the final idea that we need to select then we can also consult experts consult experts with all these we need to have good judgment use good human judgment after this there comes the development phase development phase determines the best alternative because in evaluation uh, criteria we select the idea appropriate i would better say not idea but ideas the certain ideas are selected which go to the development phase and we then we find the best alternative here okay so that is presented to the decision maker then we conduct the life cycle cost analysis for that to life cycle cost analysis ranks all the remaining alternatives uh, according to an estimate of their life cycle cost reduction potential relative to the status quo all costs sh should be identified so here all costs are identified like cost of implementing the idea as well okay the cost of uh, implementing the idea the cost of uh, running the material the future scope all those things then uh, new tools and fixtures additional materials new tools additional materials okay then uh, maybe uh, new processes then if it is there changes in plant layout other costs that are not normally incurred by the originating activity but should be considered 
those might be the technical and economical evaluation proposals by the persons the prototypes those are developed testing of the proposed change okay so i can either put here other cost are prototyping testing etc so this is a development final development after evaluation finally we are actually now working as i said we are working in the actual conditions and prototyping and testing all the things are happening then discounting the rate to be used the figure uh, has to be the difference between the inflation rate and the uh, assume uh, time value of money all those discounts like we are talking about this profit here because and the length of the life cycle okay a whole life cycle i have talked about this here so we need to determine the most beneficial alternative most beneficial alternative in a way the value engineering team should consult the personnel who have the knowledge about the items function and operational constraints dependability requirements so we can have certain questions what are life cycle savings and uh, are benefits benefits more than the costs question mark okay along with this errors those could come or the or better i should put errors and risks those are involved in implementing this now in this case Uh, like it is important to consider the risks because we are going to change something as well so implementation develop implementation plans in this case we just make a report step by step plan then the implementation plan for each alternative or the specific best alternative that we have select, selected that should include the schedule of the required implementation steps as i said step by step the, then identify who will execute then uh, again the questions who then uh, how how is step by step plan then what is required what is actually what documents are required how is the schedule i will better put when and how when and how who the personnel this is the development phase now in implementation phase okay, the prepare report comes here we have the report that Came, that came from the development phase and that report is actually refined refined and actual conditions uh, the oral presentation of the study results is more helpful to the person who is responsible for making the decision so however the report is also is there but uh, that has to be refined while actual implementation if needed then enhance the probability of the approval the approval of the proposal means all the change in the status quo because uh, of this uh, or other pressing priorities a manager may be slow in making a decision so uh, we need to enhance the probability by uh, like uh, properly presenting the report the monitor progress so these are general things monitor progress like while while we are implementing the actual or we want to say the planned versus actual implementation it has to be seen and monitored then expedite the implementation this is the general thing expedite like minimize delays okay in presenting then uh, the value engineering team should provide uh, assistance clear uh, misconceptions if are there okay. minimize delays clear misconceptions you know what is happening here we have made a report value engineering team in which 5 to 7 people were there they have made a report now they are trying to 
express their views or their ideas or they are trying to present it to the whole manufacturing scenario, whole manufacturing system. Now, because people might have different viewpoints why this is happening, so oh, there are certain resistance as I, that I talked in the beginning in the information phase. So, misconceptions, minimize delays, all those things monitoring the progress, these are very important while actually implementing the value engineering. Mis uh, misconceptions are to be cleared up, then uh, uh, if some problems are there, we need to resolve conflicts. We are general things. People who are working in the factories are to be made aware that green products are required. That is a need of the present era. So, that can bring a motivation. So, this might help to uh, apply value engineering plan in a better way. So, this is how we develop the value engineering. Now, the range of application value engineering can apply almost to everything. So, value engineering can apply to any point of design or process. It is a problem solving technique. Value engineering can be used as a technique for developing design criteria. So, this is value engineering. So, with this I have discussed a value engineering methodology, value engineering plan, value engineering job plan. So, we will come up with an example, we will in the next lecture I will discuss the fast diagramming and uh, then we will come up with an example uh, or the case study on value engineering. Then we will try to see value engineering green plan, we will try to pick the green criteria and see how does that work in value engineering. Then uh, I might give a dedicated lecture on uh, creativity techniques and um, also it is a term known as frugal innovation. Frugal is something that does not have a scientific uh, background, but that does work. Frugal is some people call frugal as a green alternative, green way. So, we will discuss those things. So, in the end I have tasks for the students. You have already selected a product. Like I said in the last task, you select a product and try to see the different functions or different uh, components of that product. Now, you please try to as you know what are the functions you try to identify, identify the functions of the product that you have chosen and use the two words verb plus noun. Okay. For all the functions, I will tell you how to group the functions later when I will talk about fast diagram or uh, paired comparison method. So, then we can group and have creative techniques for that. So, for all the functions, try to see what is the cost to attain this function. I am not talking about the specific component or specific part of the product, this function support body, what is the cost that is existing and if possible, please possible please try to uh, make a team of uh, 3 to 5 people and try to uh, develop the alternative ways. Okay. This has to be done in a team of 3 to 5 people. So, with this, this lecture is complete and uh, we will meet in the next lecture, we will we'll discuss more on value engineering green plan. Thank you.